So here's the fly I'm be throwing today. Another shrimp pattern. Um, got barred pseudo hair. So it should be more, more durable than the craft fur. Should last longer. And just a simple minnow head EP brush body. With a good amount of flash in there. Should look pretty, pretty uh, appetizing to any fish near it. And it sinks pretty good too, huh? It just sinks really good. There's one. There you go. I saw him hit it. Right. Water's so clear, I was able to see him hit it from 30 yards out. That's, that's a trout, right? Oh yeah, dude, look at that water. That's a good trout. Oh my god. Come here. Oh, that's a stocky trout. Just look at that. Look at the girth on that fish. Looks perfectly in the corner of the mouth. I saw him destroy it right off the surface. This water's a lot clearer than it was yesterday. That's a healthy trout right there. Beautiful green on him too. Sweet. This mess. Oh my, oh my god, dude. You guys see that? I was messing my line. Was even moving. Oh, it's a puffer fish. Was even moving it and it gets gets hit. These guys are loaded over here. Isn't that cool? That's a good puffer. You guys can see that. They got some mean teeth, these guys. Just gotta be careful. Back he goes. Got some nervous water right in front of me. Very well could be mola, but might be, might be something else. Bring the fly right across it. This is a, I believe so. Yes, it is. So this is a skipjack. Now these, this is actually the. <laughs> Very first species of saltwater fish I ever caught on a fly rod. These guys are venomous. Well, I say that, I don't know for sure. Supposedly they're venomous, but they got these two mean spikes right there on the the bottom fin. Yeah, you wanna you wanna steer clear of those. I uh did not know that at the time of catching them and I got stuck. The first one and it hurt for a couple days, it hurt real bad. There is a little leather jack. All right, so I got bit off by a puffer. And since Kev here is having so much luck in the top water, I'm gonna switch the to top water myself. Got a little shrimp gurgler here, but this thing spits water. So hopefully we can get some aggressive, aggressive fish to hit on top. There's a trout. Nice. I think. Something hit it off top. Yeah, it's a trout. Mr. Trout. There was a little bit of a lull there, but. Ha. <laughs> 
stuffed. That, that thing is in there. How about that? Missed it. There he is. He came back for it. I think there's like a school of black up there. There were like ten fish. <laughs> there's a little one. Hit it like three times. Another top part of trout. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Get right back in there. Got him that time. Oh, that was cool. A little trout. Getting my camera wet, dog. Come here, man. I'll look at you and I'll let you go. Oh, he's drumming. He missed it the first time. Missed the set on him. Went it right back in there and he slammed it. He was barely hooked. There he goes. Oh, right here. I pulled out of his mouth. Oh, he's still there? Oh, that was awesome. This guy like swiped at it like five times. Hell yeah. It's like a 16 inch trout. It's funny, some of these fish just jump like ladyfish and others will just keep their head down. But this fish is fat, man. These guys are eating well out in this flat. You guys see that? Think you wanted that thing or what? There it is. This guy might need a revive. He choked it so hard. There it goes. That was cool. Water trout. Let me see that. Barely hooked. And all these fish want to be uh, quite cooperative with the releases. They're all, they're all getting anxious to get out of my hands.
There's one out there. Hey guys, so I just got finished editing the video you just watched and I never got a chance to do the outro because it got really dark really quickly. So overall it was a terrific day. Um, not very often do we get days like that where the fish are just destroying everything on top. What ended up happening is Kev started off throwing a DOA shrimp and that got bit in half by a fish like right after we got there so he tied on the spook because he didn't want to lose too many shrimp and uh, just about every cast he was getting destroyed so I decided to uh, after I got bit off by that puffer fish I decided to tie on to top water and then I don't usually throw top water that very uh, that often so I was a little skeptical wasn't sure if I was going to get anything but sure enough you know like I saw I caught plenty of fish and what's pretty cool is that a lot of the fish ate were like just beyond my rod tip and they came in pretty close all in all it was an awesome day hope you guys enjoyed it we are actually about to head back out and uh, I'm going to be searching for a redfish or a snow uh, <laughs> try to get away from the trout for a little bit. So hopefully I can find some redfish and snow again and I'll be uploading a video on that tomorrow. These videos are going to keep on coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. Again, if you aren't already, please do subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.